Hey, it's day 136.4. Now, uh, I misspoke on the last uh, video. I said Burgess, the Ron Burgess, uh, was DEA. And I don't know why I said that, because I said he had the same job as Mike Flynn. He's DIA, Defense Intelligence Agency. He was also Trump's tr transition guy for cyber threats or cybersecurity. Uh, so fairly important guy, Lieutenant. But he's from Alabama, Central Alabama. Auburn, near Auburn, a little town called Opiaica, something like that. So his son, if you remember, or it may not be his son, uh, gets set up with, um, uh, gets goes to Auburn, and we don't have any other information. All this other information is suppressed. Now, I say he's an Army pilot, but there's also another record of a, of a Cameron Ross Burgess dying in, as a baby as an 18 month old. Now that would give you a, it would be a horrible tragedy in your family, but then you would be able to use that identity and that social security number if you were in charge of the part of the five eyes that ran the Awan sector, that whole Seattle sector, not the NATO sector, which is, would be the five eye would be Britain, but the Seattle sector is, would be run by the New Zealanders or the I, not the New Zealanders. I think the Australians would run the Seattle sector. The, I think the um, New Zealanders run the PACCOM sector. I believe. Don't know this for sure, um, but you could, if you had a child, you could set him up in Australia and have him run that sector, um, and you could bring him to Washington. Uh, so I don't know if Cameron Ross Burgess is alive and well in Australia or not, but he has a lot of these George Soros front companies that are typically, you know, very uh, thinly veiled covers for food covers for route, route, routes, drug routes. And usually it's some kind of social justice thing with food. You know, we do got to get you carrots, shavings, or we've got to get you some kind of, you know, uh, uh, tops or the, the bottoms of Brussels sprouts or, or some kind of cockamamie scheme, uh, but then you put a little social justice logo on it, and now you've created a route. So I'm not saying that definitely Cameron Ross Burgess is related to Ron Burgess, but a lot of times when you're, when you're setting up like uh, organized rat lines, like the strokes, you tend to name everybody strokes so that you can kind of keep all the different rat lines straight. So if Burgess has this operation, you have a lot of little Burgesses. If, is, if Ross Neft has this operation, you have a lot of little Ross to Nets, et cetera, et cetera. You have a little, lot of little strokes. And then they're all on the same Dropbox. They're all in the same BlackBerry uh, folder. Although I saw Rim is changing its name to BlackBerry now. I wonder if that'll cut off the connection with everyone uh, between Nortel and uh, between Dallas and Ottawa. But anyway, it's just kind of interesting. And there's all these companies, all these social justice companies. You have to take sides. You, you know, we have to have secret meetings with you, secret consultations. We've got a staff of experts with 500 years experience. All these things that are so Aspen Group, it just screams Aspen Group. So Aspen Group, if you're not familiar, was always, uh, you can ask a famous director who has a YouTube channel about the Aspen Group. He has a friend who's in the Aspen Group. But it's basically a place where all the Five Eyes meet in Colorado, not too far from Boulder, or it's in Aspen actually, obviously, uh, where they all talk about uh, managing the worldwide rat lines. The Five Eyes are the five continents, I, I believe. Um, so uh, anyway, I, I'm, this is not really totally formed yet. There's a lot of things, a lot of moving pieces still, but I think it's a worthwhile uh, look because they, again, why suppress Ross's, Cameron Ross's information, Cameron Ross's Burgess's information. We may actually have a Clockwork Orange here, right in the making. Not the old Anthony Burgess Clockwork Orange, a Cameron Ross Burgess Clockwork Orange.